Thank you for visiting this video segment for Dr. Afib. I'm Dr. Morales. In today's video segment, we're going to be talking about implantable cardiac monitors, also called uh, loop recorders. I've had several questions on my Facebook over the last several weeks talking about uh, asking questions about implantable monitors or chips that get put underneath their skin. Implantable cardiac monitors are small little devices that go underneath your skin to monitor your heart rhythm. I'm sure many people who have atrial fibrillation have worn external monitors on their skin, uh, such as a 24-hour monitor or a 30-day monitor, uh, which, have been very, which are very useful for your doctor's office. However, I've talked many times on my platforms that managing atrial fibrillation is a long-term issue and requires long-term uh, management. And so when people are wearing a 24-hour or 30-day monitor, what happens when a patient gets symptoms or episodes after that monitor is over? If the patient is no longer wearing that monitor, it can be very difficult for your doctor to know what it is that you're experiencing. Or perhaps even during a 30-day monitor, maybe you never had any episode to really be able to tell what it is that you are, are feeling. Fortunately now, there's great options, which are implantable loop recorders. Implantable loop recorders, which I have a small demonstration right here, are these small little devices that actually go underneath your skin. Um, they take typically five minutes to put in. Uh, basically make a cut in your skin right about here, it's about the size of a fingertip, and basically put this underneath your skin just like that, right over where your, where your heart goes. Uh, again, usually it only takes five minutes to put in, and then you go home. This monitor here is like heart monitors that you have worn in your doctor's office, except it's inside of you, uh, underneath your skin, and you don't have to actually wear anything, and you can go live your life and do all your normal activities. These devices have a battery life that lasts for typically around three years, uh, and so it can give your doctor a lot of information over a period of several years uh, to know how your atrial fibrillation is, do is doing. So what are the main reasons why somebody should consider having one of these little monitors put in? Uh, there are several reasons why this could be beneficial to some patients. Uh, one of them would be for people who have very severe sudden symptoms. Um, if you have these severe sudden symptoms that are very short that your doctor has been unable to catch with monitors on top of your skin and by the time you either see the doctor or go to an emergency room, uh, your fast heart rate has gone. Uh, this is something that can help your, doc your doctor to detect what it is that you're actually feeling, whether it's atrial fibrillation or whether it's something else. Another useful feature of these gadgets is for people who actually may have dizziness episodes or even passing out uh, in association with their AFib. Passing out can be very sudden and without any warning sign. and unless you actually catch an episode when it's actually happening, it's hard for your doctor to actually figure out if that passing out or dizziness is related to either your AFib or slow heart rate and how to better manage it. Another good feature of these little devices is for people who have had a stroke where they're not certain why a person had a stroke. It's called a cryptogenic stroke and I did a video about it in the past. Uh, people when they have a stroke and it's not really clear why, a very common reason could be atrial fibrillation or undetected atrial fibrillation. And so having these monitors in place can help detect uh, unde uh, previously undetected atrial fibrillation and help put patients on the right treatment plans to prevent any future strokes. And one of the other treatment options which I use commonly, one of the reasons why I commonly use this in my patients is for the management of someone's atrial fibrillation. There are many people out there who can't tell that they're in atrial fibrillation at all. Um, although there are obviously some patients that can tell right away, there are many people that they just can't tell, they can't feel, or they have very subtle symptoms when they're in atrial fibrillation. And what this device can do is help my office better gauge how the person's atrial fibrillation is doing, whether they're having more episodes or progressing in their AFib. Uh, with these gadgets, I've been able to detect AFib or more consistent AFib much more sooner than waiting for the patient to actually feel something or to develop symptoms. I've had many patients that I've had to call into the office because this device has told me that they've been in atrial fibrillation for uh, two weeks or a month or so and even if they don't feel anything I bring them into the office so that we can start discussing 
treatment options. Uh, the other great thing about these gadgets is that they send routine reports over to your doctor's office. Usually they're a monthly report which are usually sent through either a smartphone or a little home monitor that you, you, that you have at home. These little gadgets do have a little antenna on it which transmits the data over to either your smartphone or to the home monitor that you get. Uh, there's a couple different brands available right now. Uh, the Medtronic Link as well as the Abbott Confirm which are both great implantable loop recorders and I use both of them on, on my patients. Anytime you're going to do an implantable loop recorder, always discuss with your doctor um, what the further plan is, whether you'll need it for just a few months or possibly even for the entirety of the battery life, which is about three years. These are typically covered in, by insurance. Uh, the implant of it, like I said, is usually only five minutes and is typically covered by insurance and your doctor should get pre-approval before they actually do the procedure itself. But I always discuss with your doctor also the follow-up monitoring if it's going to be covered by insurance. I actually recently started having more patients where the those 30-day monitoring reports from home are not being covered by insurance. And so you'll have to discuss with your doctor if the actual implant procedure as well as the monitoring afterwards will be covered by your insurance. Fortunately for those in which the monitoring is not, being, is not covered by insurance, you can still come in the office and get this checked in person. So there are a few options available. But I found this to be a very useful tool for a lot of patients with atrial fibrillation. Uh, the device in these sizes has been around for probably close to five years now. Uh, they used to be the size of a finger and they used to be much less used the, than they are in their current size. And now in this current size, much more patients are using it. And I found it to be a very useful tool for managing several patients at atrial fibrillation. But as always, please discuss with your doctor uh, if an implantable loop recorder is the right option for you. Thank you for visiting this video segment for Dr. AFib. I'll see you next time.